I think what makes it a classic is is the fact that um, that it speaks to people in on mul multiple levels. You know, on on the one level, it's a great story about a dog who gets kidnapped, and and it's a great story about the gold rush. It's a it's a great slice of American history. But deeper than that, it's also a, a wonderful metaphor about um, listening and following our instincts. Um, Buck goes on a very real journey uh, in in discovering quite organically his wild side. And through the passage of reading the book, I think we all go on our own journey of uh, at least thinking about, if not rediscovering our own wild side as well. There is an ecstasy that marks the summit of life and beyond which life cannot rise. And such is the paradox of living. This ecstasy comes when one is most alive and it comes as a complete forgetfulness that one is alive. This ecstasy, this forgetfulness of living, comes to the artist, caught up and out of himself in a sheet of flame. It comes to the soldier, war-mad on a stricken field and refusing quarter. And it came to Buck, leading the pack, sounding the old wolf cry, straining after the food that was alive and that fled swiftly before him through the moonlight. When we uh, are acting in our in our day jobs, you know, making movies or TV shows or whatever, everything is so um, non chronological and split up. So as an artist that's coming in and getting to do it, it's a it's a very pleasurable experience to to get to do it chronologically and to follow it from beginning to the end and and feel that journey of the story yourself as you're uh, communicating it to the audience. One of the real joys for me of getting to do these things is to rediscover books that I had read as a younger person and then I get to read again. It happened first with American Psycho and, and it happened now with this. Novels, you know, are pieces of art that interact with you in the time that you read them. So when you read them at one age, they're gonna be completely different for, for you when you read them at another age. And so what drew me to it was the chance to uh, come back to this really classic piece of material that, uh, that I loved as a kid and to see it now again as an adult and read it and, and feel it, it struck me in, in a much different way, a much deeper way than, than it did when I was a kid.